Hi everyone and welcome to today's vlog which is going to be all about the nursery part two and you're probably thinking if you're talking about the nursery why are you in Mila Rose's room? Well one the lighting is much better than in my room right now because it's a very overcast cloudy rainy day so the lighting in here is much better and two I'm in here because I've pulled down Mila Rose's bunting to show you so I thought I'd just film in here at the same time. So back when Roman was a baby I had this thought of how can I get my subscribers involved and make something that is unique and special to his journey and I had this light bulb moment, moment in the show where I thought you know what buntings go in babies rooms and they're made of separate triangles so I could get people to make their own triangle and send it to me and I can sew it together. So what I did is I gave my subscribers, you guys, some dimensions and I told you to make a triangle in that size and you could do whatever you want with it. I may have given some suggestions for colours and themes but in general I said do what you like. Um, and I got all these gorgeous buntings sent to me. Some people sent multiple, some people sent one, some people sewed things on, other people ironed things on, some people glued things on. It really didn't matter and if you didn't know how to sew, like cutting out and gluing things was perfect. So there were just so many different kinds, like look this one's got, um, what would you call that, crocheting on the end? And of course Mila Rose had like the floral type thing going on. This one's made out of hessian. I think it's the word with a bow. Look at this one here, double sided. Uh, what else have we got? Got that one. This one had like little flowers on it. They're just so gorgeous. So many of these are just so beautiful. Do you guys remember making this for Mila Rose? How crazy is that? So it just goes on and on. Mila Rose's one was just, just so long, it was just so beautiful. So if you can see yours on there, like ugh, still to this day I'm just in awe as to how beautiful this bunting came out. So basically this is what is going to remind me of Mila Rose's journey on YouTube. Each of you did, obviously not each of you, always there'd be so many of these, but um, a lot of you made your own bunting sent to me and I sewed it together and now I have this beautiful bunting made by people from all around the world who watched our journey. Okay, so baby number three, what is the deal with this baby? So we are not doing a bunting because there's just there's just not enough wall space for another bunting. So instead, um, after some suggestions from you guys, we are going to do a blanket. So this is a blanket that was made by um, Martin's mum for Roman a few years ago and we're going to aim to do something kind of like this. So basically this blanket is made up a whole bunch of separate squares and pieces and then it was stitched together. So what you guys have to do if if you want to be involved <laughs> is you're going to be making a square bigger than these ones though. These are not particularly big enough for you to design something on so we're th thinking something more like that size so more like a a 15 by 15 centimeters or is it six inch by six inches I'll put all the details on sizing in the description box below so so basically what you need to do is you need to get some fabric and you need to design a square so the only difference between making the bunting where you made a triangle and making this blanket is that you're going to decorate it just the same you can sew things on you can um, iron things on, probably not PVA glue things on because if a blanket needs to go through the wash it'll probably you know detach um, but I mean if you have glued things on and you really can't sew let me know when you send it to me and I will make sure that it gets stitched around. So the only difference is that you are doing a square instead of a triangle and it is going to be stitched together as a blanket not a bunting. And then when you send all your pieces in at the end of it I am going to be <laughs> I say I but I'll probably get someone else. Um, we'll stitch it all together and it will make a blanket and I of course will be putting the backing on so you don't need to worry about like putting backings or anything on you just need to make the front piece and we will put the backing and of course all the borders on. When you make your square which I think is 15 by 15 centimeters you need to make sure that you also allow seam allowance which means um, when you go and sew something together 
you allow a little bit more for when you sew something together because they need to actually have room to go next to each other. So if you don't allow that seam allowance, your design that you've made may get sewn over. So when you do your 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter square, add on another centimeter. So make it 16 centimeters all around but do your design in the 15 centimeter square, if that makes sense to you. If you're panicking and you're thinking, that's too much work, how do I do this? I don't know how to sew. Don't panic, okay? Just cut out a square and decorate it. That's all you need to do. If, if it needs sewing or anything like that, I can do all that extra in my end. If you really, really don't think that you can do that, the other option is that you can send a scrapbook page um, with information about your family or write about your journey, um, write what you enjoyed about our journey, what got you following us, whatever. Just, um, you know, just a typical 12 by 12 scrapbook page because um, I'm just going to add it to a little book. Um, because I didn't, I felt bad that a lot of you couldn't join in with the bunting because you just felt like you just could not sew. And, um... I feel, and I feel bad that you couldn't join in because of that. So if you desperately think you cannot make a square, and I promise you just get a bit of fabric and make a square and just glue, iron, or sew something onto it that's pretty for a little boy, um, then of course you can do a scrapbook page and that'll be just as fun. Now for theme, so baby number three's theme is gray and white chevron. So I'm basing his part of the nursery on these colors and this design, the chevron design. So this is what his nursery is based on. But of course, that's just an idea. If you don't want to do that on your um, square to send to us, then that is absolutely fine. Um, of course, you're also probably like, you don't have it, you haven't given us a name. How do we do something for his name? And that's because we don't have a name for him yet. So um, obviously you're not gonna be able to do any initials other than the initial O, because his last name is obviously going to be orange. So I'm really sorry about that, but um, you can do any sort of like symbols or maybe something to do with your country or um, just things to do with boys. But if you just wanna keep it simple, gray and white chevron is kind of what we're going for. The address to send it to is also in the description box. If you can't find any of this information, like if you're on your phone and you can't seem to read the description box for some reason, um, jump onto my Facebook page and I may make a file or even pin something to the top of my page with all the information you need to know about joining in to make this blanket for baby number three. And lastly, if you do plan on sending something, please, please, please make sure you put a return address on your package. Because once we had all of Mila Roses, it took me a while, but I sent out a thank you card and I had a photo of her newborn photo shoot, this cute little card thing, and I wrote a message on the back. Just because I think it's it's nice to send them off to you guys. If you've made the effort to do something like this, then I think it's nice for me to actually write back to you and thank you. And I know a lot of you sent gifts as well with Mila Roses bunting. So um, if you do want to do that, then that's absolutely fine. But don't feel like you're expected to send a gift along with your square for the blanket. If you just want to send a square for the blanket and a little note saying who you are or whatever then that is absolutely fine don't feel like you have to send gifts but um the other thing i think i might do is i'm going to keep all these packages and i'm going to open them up all at the same time because i felt like opening up mila rose ones although it was a lot of excitement this time i think i just want to make one big video on all of these little squares for this blanket at the same time and if there's any gifts in there then i'll open them up at the same time as well i'm really excited and i can't wait to see how this blanket's going to turn out i hope it goes well you know it's different from doing the bunting but it's certainly not any harder than doing the bunting it's just a different shape and uh, just a different size. Guys, so go choose a fabric, go choose your embellishments, go and get it all sewn together, get a package and send it through to us uh, being in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and this is so exciting and so special. Make sure you write about yourself and your family too um, in a letter to us when you send your, um, your squares because I just love to know about your families. People have sent me photos and things like that before and I just love it. It get, helps me to get to know you guys a lot better as well. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or you're confused or you just don't know what the heck I'm talking about, then put it in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Alright guys, thank you so much and I'm really excited. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm having a third baby. That's just crazy. It still blows my mind. Watching guys and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!